Uh, my name is Jacqueline Postagian. I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, I'm doing my internship at NYU's Rusk Rehabilitation Center. I'm studying economics and history, and right now I'm doing like, money management for a small business. Make a dynamic. One more over here. Can you get closer? Can you like just for one second? This thing is in the way. No, no, don't move it. Okay, wait. Okay, look at me. Look at me over here. One, two, three. Minus ten. You are tuned into the Armenian Radio Hour of New Jersey on WSOU 89.5 FM. As always, we have the latest news and developments within the Armenian community as well as Armenian national news. Joining us today in the studios of WSOU are AGBU interns, and we will talk with them and find more about the AGBU internship program and their experience so far. The AGBU Summer Internship Program is a special eight-week program offered to college students, giving them valuable experience in their profession of their choice. Today, we remember Alex Manugian, the great benefactor and president of AGBU for 38 years, who passed away on July 14, 1998. We are also streaming live on Facebook today, so you may watch us by going to the Armenian Radio Hour of New Jersey. I am Katya Kupalyan. I hope you can stay with us until 4 p.m. a wonderful experience for me also to see all these young people and energy to energize us so we can work harder and get some maybe new ideas and new uh, new ways of approaching to millennials with our programs and making it more uh, you know palatable for the new generation or whatever Scroll down, you'll see the sign up on us. Good, right? Oh, it's our Wait, guys, did you do this last week? No, 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 I got something. I Every day. Every day. New newsletter. Can you imagine doing it every day? I will come every Sunday for this pizza and for the see you part time. <laughs> You're good. So how is the pizza? Delicious. Delicious? Okay. Are we taking good care of you? Yes, very Would good. Would you come here every Sunday? Of course. <laughs> but, but don't say of course. Use your sentence the whole oh, thing. Oh, okay, because you're going to cut this. I Okay, I'm going to come back every Sunday just for the pizza. <laughs> what are you laughing? You, I don't know. You live here. <laughs> I live here. I can get this every day. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> How about we pizza? Shut up. <laughs> Sabine, you're cute. What's your name? The people are amazing. The culture is amazing, I guess. So, Armenian pride. <laughs> Say something. How's it going today? How's everybody sure. going? We're uh, here, at the headqu here at the headquarters, the radio station. Um, we're about to do some hot takes on air. I'm very excited. <laughs> Facebook page? It's uh, A R H N J. It's at A R H N J. Oh, the merger? Oh, the one. Yeah. There you go. Right there. Here's the one.
And we are as excited as them to welcome them to the radio station and tell them what we do, show them what we do, and discuss with them of ways of improving uh, the communities and, in fact, the entire Armenian nation. A few minutes ago, Rafi gave a message, had a message for the interns. Rafi Krikorin is sitting next to me, is surrounded by the interns. So momentarily, we'll be going to the interns and hearing their, uh, where they come from and their impressions of the AGBU internship program. Uh, before I continue, I think the, the, I think it, the, the interns will join me in giving a very, very warm round of applause to the AGBU uh, in general. So, I have a any organization that takes care of the youth. Rafi, what was your message? What is your impression of what we have in the studio? I am very impressed with the uh, young, uh, this, this group of young people who uh, came to the radio station. The energy is tremendous. Uh, I like surrounded by, by, to be surrounded by young people because I feel younger. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, it's very encouraging to see the future of our nation and culture in good hands. I think uh, it's important to, as we have try to do successfully uh, at the radio station to encourage the youth to participate in worthy organizations and certainly AGBU has done a fantastic job uh, in involving the, the youth from various different countries and geographies and it's, it's, it's phenomenal it's an experience that is not only rewarding for uh, the young people uh, it's also encouraging and uh, for, for us uh, to see that uh, we are on the right track to prepare the next generations that will carry the torch. You know, a few minutes ago we spoke to uh, Harag, uh, who is from Lebanon, and uh, he said something which is very interesting. He said, I felt at home. Uh, I know whenever I travel uh, to wherever I've been, uh, been throughout the world, whenever there is an Armenian center, an Armenian church, an Armenian cultural center, and they welcome us with a, even uh, uh, a coffee, we feel so much at home, we feel so much connected. And to, to have this home uh, uh, enjoyed by the younger generation who have come to New York area from all over the world, we have from Lebanon, I understand there is a gentleman from Japan also who is not with us because some others opted to spend the time in New York, but from uh, Los Angeles quite a few, and they're, they've been educated in Armenian schools there, HBU Armenian school, they're proud of it, they know the ins and outs of the HBU organization, so it really, we are doing a lot, and I'm sure many of them have been to Armenia and have walked in, uh, on Armenian soil and breathed Armenian air and drank the Armenian water, and they feel Armenian as much as possible through whatever we have been giving them. What impressed you with the younger generation, the people who, in fact, you said I was impressed by people who asked me questions. Some people were really interested in what I was saying. The, uh, certainly, we talked about the management of, uh, of the basically life and post career, post graduation of uh, you know college and such. Uh, there are certain qualities that I already see in a lot of these young people that will carry them forward. Uh, and you know, judging uh, first impressions, they say never lie, and uh, I am hoping that my first impressions are, <laughs> are correct. Uh, it's it's just uh, rewarding to see them. It's it's a treat for us to see the them included in our radio family, as we call ourselves, and we hope that uh, they feel that they're in our family. You know, I would like to talk to Katya, who is coordinating this year the HBU New York internship program. Katya is a volunteer at the radio. We all know Katya. Katya, one question: What was the experience like, and what can you tell us about the group? Well, the group is a very large group this year. We have 36 interns, so um, it's been really great so far. We have um, a lot of professional events, and we had a lot of speakers come. Um, yesterday, Rafi Balyan came and spoke to us at the HBU office, um, talked about the Armenian diaspora and stuff like that, so it was really interesting. Um, and we went to a Mets game. We did a lot of fun things so far. So um, there's five weeks left, three down, five to go, so we hope to fill it with more fun activities. 
you know, Jacqueline is sitting next to you. I told them I'll be calling upon them randomly. <laughs> Jacqueline is, uh, is from Los Angeles. She just recently graduated. And congratulations, Jacqueline. Thank We're you very so much. happy to see you. So just go for it. Tell us Thank how you, you feel. I'm so happy to be here. Um, it's been such an amazing experience. I love meeting Armenians from all around the world. It's great to make friends in different countries. And what better way to do that than by sharing our Armenianness? And I think that's the whole. The, the very heart of this program, and I'm very, very proud, very happy to be a part of it. You know, you told me you were an AGBU school graduate. Yes. Tell us about the whole experience. Yes, so I went to AGBU Bacha and Tamar Manukyan High School mm -hmm. in Pasadena, and um, I went there all four years, and it was just, it was great. It was like, we were all one big family, and um, it was just an amazing experience. All my best friends are from there. Um, we just, we all were so happy to be surrounded by Armenians every day. It was a great experience. And what was the New York experience so far? It's been very similar. It's been um, a lot like that. And it's just been all of us having a great time getting to know each other, um, growing professionally and just growing personally, making friends, just exploring the city. It's been great. It just happens that another Los Angelesian, Rafi Boyajan, is next to you. Uh, there is no, it's randomly, but it just happens to Los Angeles uh, individuals. Are come. Rafi, obviously, you know the question. How does it feel? Who are you? What are you doing? What is the internship like? Go for it. Well, Varta, it's great to be here today, and I want to thank Rafi Kukorian for his, all of his kind words. Uh, very touching. And it's been a great experience so far with AGBU. They've done an absolutely amazing job. As Katya mentioned, we've done a lot of great activities, uh, bonding together, met a lot of great professionals too. And so they have a lot of resources that they give us. And it's a very great program. If uh, any you know college students are out there, our main college students, uh, I would highly advise them to join the program and apply for next year. It's uh, absolutely amazing. Rafi, uh, if you had a message to, for the HBU leadership in the area, what would you like to tell them? I would like to tell them that they're doing an excellent job. Their team here is fantastic and in New York. And uh, I can't imagine what the magic that they're doing also in other programs around the world, in, in London, in Paris, in Buenos Aires, in Yerevan as well. Uh, I want to really congratulate them for all their great work. Beautiful. Next to him is uh, Gary Berger. Berger is New Jerseyan. I just happened to know Gary's mom, his uh, grandpa, and his grandpa's mom also. <laughs> so I knew the Kadashkanian family. They're very active in the Livingston Armenian Church. Uh, Gary, it's really, really nice to see you here. Thank you so much. And you know how Rafi welcomed you. He was so happy to see you. Uh, tell us about the experience, Gary. The experience has been great. Uh, obviously, I live so close to New York City, so a lot of people who came here to explore New York um, had a whole nother aspect to their journey, um, but I really just came to reconnect with the Armenian community. Uh, I'm here because I obviously am a very proud Armenian, um, and this means a lot to me to be part of such a great organization. Uh, I've loved every second of it, and I would love to thank AGBU for, for having this. I think it's such a great, um, a great way not only for young people to be able to move forward in the professional world, but also to be able to connect with, obviously, with other young Armenians their age, because a lot of times, you know, in small communi communities like, you know, North Jersey, um, you don't really get to realize how many other awesome young Armenians are out there. So this was this has been great for me so far. Gary, you're so eloquent. Again, I'm going to ask you, what is your message to the AGBU leadership who may be listening to you? Oh, once again, I'd, I'd like to say thank you. Um, this program has been going on for 30 years and hopefully uh, for a lot longer than that. Um, just to be able to be a part of an incredible lineage of graduates and future interns and members of the AGBU, it's it's quite an honor, and I've, I've had a wonderful time so far. Gary, you have a sister. How old is she at what school with Ray? <laughs> my, my sister is 17. She uh, She's going to be entering her senior year of high school next year. I uh, know your sister very well, of at course. least from whatever I was able to find about her. And she is one person I would love her to join our team at the radio. I hope she can hear us and I, I hope she understands I'm making this public announcement. I would like her to join us here and bring her contribution I told, because I think I told she's her to tune in. So, so she's, tune she's in is listening. everybody can do yeah, tune in. She's listening <laughs> today because I'm here and obviously hopefully she'll she'll tune into a lot no, more. No, you should encourage her, seriously. Of we we, Thank we you. need her very much. And and Herag Herag uh uh Banyan here Middle East image, 
Հայաստանի մեջ ալ, ամերգայի մեջ ալ, և գուզեմ, որ իրանց աս կորձը կոյադև է միջև վերջ։ Եվ կոյադև է ձեր ոգտությապ, երդասարդ ուժերու ոգտությապ։ Անշուշտ, անշուշտ, եթե երդասարդությունը չլան է, գարձեմ չենք կնար դոգալ, հայ, հայ կաղոտը։ Հրակ, ինչ է, որ կեզ իտբավորեց, շատ ժամանակ չունի, պայս մեկ խոսկո մեկ նխացասության, ինչ է կեզ իտբավորեց ռաջո ժամայիցելու ուրիշ մարդիկ շատնանք թիվով այս ռադիոյի մեջը, որբեսի ավելի հայրենով ռադիոյի ժամեր ունենանք։ լիանա Հովանիսյանը մոտ նստածեի, լիանա Հայաստանի ենք ուկա, գարձեմ երևանը գաբրի ինքը, որդև կիչարաչը սա Եվ ինչ է դբողությունը։ Շատ լավ, շատ մեծ կաղաքը ամեն շատ լավ ամարդիկ բավականին լավն են, չեի սպասում ու չեի սպասում նաև, որ այդքան մեծ կլինի հոնցոր հայերի շրջապատը այստեղ հոնցոր շատ տպավորվածում թե իչխան մեծ գործ եք դուք անում, որպեսի հայրին հասցնեք այն բոլոր լուրերը, որպեսի հայրին կմյունիթին այսպես ասաց կնեքտիտ մնամ, ու իսկականի ստպավորիչա ու շատ սանկալյան որ շառունակվի ու ձեր գործը բոլոր Կերեք մուժեր ունար հարցույ երդասարդերուն, թե ինչ է ծեր խոսկը, կու խոսկըտ ուղված պարե կորձզագանի դունոր ունության։ Մարդիկ ծեզ գում ընտրեն, հայ ընդանիքի անդամներ ծեզ գում ընտրեն, ինչ է ծեր խոսկը այս աշխադանքի ավել շատ լինի կապը տեպի Հայաստան ու այն ամենին ինչվոր կատարվում է Հայաստանում ու ոնցոր պոլորովոտ, ոնցոր մնակ են այնպիսին ինչպիսի հիմակակ, խոսեք հայրեն, իմանակ հայրենը, ինչ գիտեմ, այդ ամեջ։ Հաշինյան ինչ պես է։ Շատ ու սադրիչ, շատ լավ, էներգետիկ, ուսան կարող չէ, ու կանի բոլոր են խոստումներ, որոնք որ ստովեց հրևալության է ժամանա։ Բոնդը նստած է Սաբին Արշլադյան, Սաբին, if you can just get closer to the microphone, Սաբին has been most energetic with a lot of smiles, hiding behind the pizzas. Սաբին, honestly, I'm really, really happy to have met you and to have spent some time. Tell us your impression of the overall HBO internship program, what it's meant to you. Sure, so I've been a part of HGBU since I was in pre-K. I went to HGBU Canoga Park. And I've been very much part of the family since I was younger, so uh, extending this to now and being able to be a part of a greater Armenian community from all over the world is really, I'm very thankful for it. And we have great coordinators, great AGBU family, so I'm very, very happy. What was the highlight so far? I know there are so many beautiful things you did, especially the baseball game that was uh, uh, hosted by Dr. Levon Nazarian. His dad listens to us every Sunday, and he is very, very proud of you at this moment. Nazarian, <laughs> tell us, how was that experience? It was great. So I think one of the greatest things that AGBU does is have um, panels. So we invite, AGBU has a bunch of uh, professionals, Armenian professionals who have um, succeeded, come to the AGBU office, and as interns, we gather together and talk to these professionals about how they succeeded, what they did, and what in advice they can give us for the future. So I think uh, being a part of that community, having those professionals come to us, give us advice, um, it's really something beyond me. Like, I'm very... That's beautiful. Great. And your words or your message to the age of your leadership? Thank you. Thank you for everything that you've done for us, for the interns. Thank you for creating an alumni, an alumni base that would have never been there and had not been for your, um, your dedication to the program, dedication to the Armenian community. So, thank you.
Thank you. Thank you, Sabine, very much. Charles uh, Basrali. Uh, Charles, uh, you know, I, 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 there are quite a few other Basralians, yeah, you know. Yeah. Do you know a Joy Basralian by any chance? He's a lawyer, Joe Basralian? Yeah, it's my uncle. Your uncle? Yeah, Joe. Yeah. He's, <laughs> heavily, he's heavily involved in the AGB, too. Very, very heavily yeah. involved. I was wondering yeah. how you're connected. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> you're, you're a fun person to be around. Yeah, yeah. That's your full of life. <laughs> Rob is telling me you're one of his favorites. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us how was the experience so far. Uh, it's been great, so you know, definitely a summer where for all of us we want to work and get the experience in the real world and at the same time you know, develop um, per personally. Uh, it's great to have uh, like-minded group of people, especially within our own Armenian. Uh, it's always a plus because, uh, you know, for us we should always band together. Uh, it's been too long that, you know, we're separated and so it's great when you have time to come together in the whole summer in New York City. Uh, it's truly amazing to uh, all get together and share some of your experiences. How does it feel, people around you taking pictures of you <laughs> and you're on Facebook? It's, it's, all, it's like a paparazzi oh, around. This. <laughs> <laughs> but you're on Facebook, I understand, right? Oh, yeah, yes. all the kids nowadays. <laughs> you're on Facebook Live. Um, no, yeah, we're uh, heavily um, a shallow Instagram handle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and and um, uh, the same question, uh, I guess you will say thank you, AGB, but what is your uh, words for the AGB leadership who's gone really out of the way many every year after year after year and I think it's nice to also appreciate what you're doing so we're doing it through you. What would you like to tell them? Well, one, you know, as kind of reiterated everyone else already said before, very thankful. Uh, it's a great opportunity. Uh, but at the same time, you know, uh, we ha we are still uh, disconnected in some, in some senses. Uh, there's a lot of Armenian groups out there and uh, I think it's great to just keep furthering this bond between all Armenians. Um, and you know, reaching out and saying, "Hey, we're working together. Let's keep doing this. Keep it involved." Uh, especially you mentioned before the youth, um, you know, the way they feel. Uh, it's definitely important to just keep striving on and connecting, because as I keep mentioning, I'm banding together and uh, you know, taking the next day and going forward. Progressing. I think the group is 35 individuals, 35 interns. Yes, uh, uh, could you tell us something about the people who are not with us? We did not have 35 oh, yeah. of you. Tell us who were the main fun people. How, uh, tell us something about the guy from Japan. These are better people here. These are better people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, no, everyone in the group is awesome. You know, uh, as some of my other peers have mentioned, you know, everyone brings us something new and different, uh, an aspect. Some are the East Coast, some are the West Coast, some are international, uh, some are in the middle of the country. And uh, uh, it's Marie and Kevor Kuyumjan. Uh, Marie is my roommate, actually. Um, but yes, they're um, they speak Armenian. They really? Yes. No yeah, they're really they're really fun to be around. And it, it was just I think it was a shock to all of us when we met them. We were just like, oh my god! Like it was it was it was really incredible. It was something we never imagined. I think. Gary, we're going to give you the uh, mic again, and you, just tell me, just tell me in whatever you can about the others who are not with us. Um, what was it like to interact with them? We we have an incredibly close knit community. Um, on the first, on the very first day, obviously everybody was getting to know each other and, and, and everybody was new, but I I never experienced something where everybody grouped together so quickly. Um, obviously it's because we're all Armenian and I feel like there's a sense that even though I didn't know one person here, uh, everybody was able to, in one way or another, feel a connection. Um, and obviously through the Armenian community, everybody everybody feels so happy to take the car and give someone else. And so we got a taxi and we're trying to you know, find a way to get to, uh, get to Little Falls, Idaho from Salt Lake City, so it's like a six, seven hour drive. Couldn't find anyone, and it turned out the taxi driver goes, wait, you were, my dad mentioned to comment Armenian, and the taxi driver goes, hey, you're Armenian too? And he goes, yeah, we're, we're Armenian too. And instantly right there, my dad goes, look, do you want to take, do a day trip and take us six hours away <laughs> to Idaho? And he's like, he's like, you know what, I have nothing better to do, we're with fellow Armenians, and so we drove for six hours with a fellow Armenian, but it was something like an instant bond, I'll never forget, you know, you see the IAN, or you, 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 you just know right away this uh, a brother, a sister, whatever. So, 
Beautiful. I want to definitely reiterate that. Yeah.